Right, welcome to another video blog of Journey to the Last Frontier. Today I'm going to be reviewing all of my uh, first aid gear because uh, it's been a couple years since I've updated some of these kits and quite frankly uh, it's time to get them uh, up to speed, uh, renew uh, supplies that we have taken out or have used over the last couple of years and also get ready for my upcoming adventure to Alaska. So we're gonna be going through some of the supplies and then I'll show you the final kit when they're done. All right, so here is some of the stuff that we're gonna be going through. I'll be making, I'll be making several small uh, kits for gear bags, you know, a little travel one, emergency kit. Here are some of the supplies that are gonna be going into all of the stuff. The interesting thing is I was able to find these individual Tylenol tablets, Advil, same thing. They're, they're a pack. Benadryl allergy tablets. You can see here we have, you know, there's, there's plenty of those. Family pack of Band-Aids, uh, first aid burn cream. Keep one of these in the kitchen, actually. Various tapes, the water, uh, potable water tablets. Also Aquatabs, which is another portable uh, potable water tablets. Uh, all kinds of medicine, alcohol prep swabs. These are splints for fingers, other extremities. You can make splints in the field. Here's a, a first aid kit that needs to definitely be updated. I have used this uh, quite often in the last uh, couple of years. It's, it's from REI. It's a really great kit, but I, I do need to update some of the things that I have used. Uh, this one here, I'm gonna be making a custom uh, first aid kit. This is empty right now, and the expedition go is going to be made into a custom kit that I'll be able to take on some of my journeys. It's empty at the time being, and I'm going to, during the course of today's packing the first aid kit, look at some of these different supplies that we have including uh, you know, trauma pads. I have cold packs here. Obviously not everything is gonna go in here. This is more for a gear bag. And here is the home kit that I, I have. And this needs to be completely redone simply because it has been used extensively. And I have, I have you know, low inventory in, in this kit. So today, gonna update all of this into my one of my travel go bags new new gear bag uh new gear bag first aid kit also this is like an edc kit that needs to have a small little first aid kit in it and a mini first aid kit that could even be part of of this kit if i so choose so that's kind of what we're going to do and uh i'll show you when we're done how I pack all of the individual kits together. All right, so I have updated this kit. I added various topical relief creams, antibiotic creams, burn creams, updated wound cleansing, alcohol swabs. The first aid manual is, is really important because sometimes you do forget how to um, take care of oneself. Made sure we have plenty of Band-Aids, adhesive bandages, and in the gauze pocket, there's gauze. One thing I like about this uh, first aid packet is everything is easy to see and it's labeled and organized. So if you're traveling, backpacking, hiking, you have everything in here and you don't have to look for it. Also, it's in a red packet, so it's really good. And this is um, carry-on safety. So I have taken this in carry-on bags. So now on to this one, which is empty. This is gonna be a custom made one that I'm gonna build out for my uh, travel to Alaska and a few other places. So we're gonna put the stuff in here and then we're gonna go through and, and say what we got. All right, so I kind of assembled the things here that I'm gonna put in here. So I have alcohol pads, Advil packets. I definitely will throw a few Tylenol packets in there. For, uh, first aid band-aid, water block tape, I don't, I don't suffer from allergies, but you never know if you're gonna scratch yourself on something you're allergic to. Some Benadryl tabs, uh, burn cream, forceps, gauze cutting scissors, burn cream, 
water tab purification tablets definitely one of these splints and i'm going to add one of these splints that will fold up in there assorted band-aids and sizes duct tape emergency size pocket this is absolutely critical five yards duct tape could really always come in handy you never know when uh this is a a, a sterile triangle bandage which is perfect if you want to make a sling or a tourniquet all right and so there's a few other tools that'll go in here you know definitely i have uh this here is a very sharp gerber uh pocket knife that could also be used as a scalpel or um any other type of uh tool or implement and i have another uh gerber pen this is actually a pen it it writes but more importantly you have this very sharp metal object here that could actually puncture a uh, car window uh, and break a car window so this is a tactical pen i have several of these in various gear bags it's also they write when wet so it makes a great writing implement if you need to write something down on waterproof paper in a field guide book so now i'm going to just put all of this stuff together and you'll see that we have uh we're going to be pretty pretty tight on this oh one other thing that will be added is some dehydration tablets uh with anti diarrhea vomiting chronic illness etc it's always good to have something like that even when you know you're drinking safe water the little uh ziploc baggies i have these these ones are organized you can see i have advil in here water tabs i even have some of the um uh, normal light uh packets in here uh in this one here various assorted bandages including butterfly uh, already pre-made butterfly stitches and in this one I do have various topical creams so all of those are going to go in the back pockets here here I have you can see now I have the uh, sterile triangle bandage I have one of the splints here this here is the duct tape underneath this here is a survival blanket that's mylar that you if you prevents you from hypothermia if you're stranded in the outback. Uh, you can see here, I organized all the different tools. This is not a carry-on set because the knife and the tactical pen, the tape will go behind there. This big splint here, which is perfect for uh, any wrist or arm injury, uh, will go folded in half and get put in here in the back. And this will pretty much make this a really good outback um uh emergency first aid kit uh when i'm in alaska i do plan on doing some day hikes no um no overnight camping not on this trip and this here will help me get in and out of where i need to be and if i do hurt myself i'll still be able to get back to my truck uh or the boat or whatever we're going to be on so this is going to be my go-to First aid kit, I will add a few items to it as needed as I get closer, but this here is going to be pretty much wrapped up. All right, so here we have it. We have three various size packs. This is gonna be for my expeditions, this big fat one. We already showed you the insides. This is my go-to travel. I throw this in my carry-on bags or sometimes into uh, check baggage, mostly carry-on. This one I made as a little mini one that could be thrown into any EDC kit as well as any of my fishing gear bags as a supplemental one. And here is the updated home kit. And you can see here we kind of organized it with uh, trauma bags, tape, scissors on this side in here, all the various different creams, burn cream, arnica, uh, alcohol swabs uh hydroconazone hydrocortisone creams cold packs more medicines topical sting relief all kinds of stuff here uh anti-diarrheal uh we have the the splints we have more aspirin more bandages these are actually really cool it's more of a uh, safety than first aid and these are glow sticks i have these also in many of my bags all right, and on the side here, this one I haven't yet, I have, this is empty because I kind of consolidated. 
and on this side pocket here we have all the bandages in Ziploc bags so this is the home the home first aid kit um, obviously all the extra stuff goes into um, a waterproof storage bin and or our um, medicine cabinets that we have uh, so that's kind of what we have now the updated first aid kits that we saw is the big fatty the weekender travel one and one just to throw in a uh, gear bag plus the home security home uh, first aid kit and we can get one more look at the inside of these kits here the big fatty that I'm gonna call it with various tools in here I have to secure this in with a lanyard all the stuff that we talked about the bandages the splints the everything that's inside this pocket in here the weekend bag that closes really nicely and zips this one zips and like I said the little tiny gear bag and of course the home the home kit um, now if you're wondering how much all of this stuff costs it's it's not cheap but it's a lot cheaper than going to the emergency room or being stuck in the field really sick uh, a kit like this is probably gonna run you already pre-made 20 30 bucks uh, this one I made myself I would say the total cost of this was probably in the $50 range maybe a little bit more because of the high-end stainless steel tools um, all of these things here I was able to buy on Amazon um, I would say all of these supplies here and a few other things came to a couple of hundred bucks you don't need to do it all at once I needed to update all of our um, first aid stuff uh, because we went through a lot between hurricanes tropical storms the last two years of the pandemic working in the house and fixing things up plus of many of my adventures that I do blog about so I did need to update all of this so um, this is the video blog uh, if you like what you see please subscribe and I do look forward to uh, seeing everybody online so that about wraps it up for today's uh, video on first aid emergency supplies we kind of went through how to put together a home kit a carry-on travel kit a uh, expedition kit that will still need to be updated before that trip to Alaska and then finally the fourth kit that we did was kind of a, just a little gear bag thing that you can throw into a backpack uh, or day bag or whatever so I am now have all of my main um, bags my main first aid kits completely updated the excess inventory stays home so I can update these as needed so I hope everybody en enjoys watching this video if you like what you see please subscribe this is journey to the last frontier signing off